Number nine then, big wordy question. Here's the diagram here. We've got two points, just to extract the geometrical parts of it. A at 88, B at 16.32. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. That'll be handy because that'll pass through the centre. It tells you that the centre is equidistant. The coordinates are equidistant because it's the same distance of both axes. So I know the equation of that line. Find the equation of the circle and then there's some other line. You need to know, does that line fall inside or not? Well, one bit at a time. First bit. What's the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB? Part A. Perpendicular bisector. So that means if you draw the line from A to B, the perpendicular bisector must go through the centre, cutting it half at right angles. So that means to get the equation of this line, the perpendicular bisector, I'll need the coordinates of the centre point and the gradient. We'll work out first. Centre first. So first of all, midpoint of AB, what's that going to be? What's well, going to be half of the x the average of the x coordinates, 8 plus 16 upon 2, average of the y coordinates, 8 and 32. Upon 2. So the midpoint is going to be 24, that makes it 12, 40, so that makes it 20. So that's the point 12, 20 for the midpoint. I'll just give it a name there to reference it. So the midpoint is 12, 20. Next thing would be what's the gradient of the line AB? The difference in the y coordinates over the difference in the x's, y2 minus y1, if you will. So y coordinates first, 32 take away 8 x coordinates 16 take away 8 so that's going to be 24.8 which is 3 so that's got gradient 3 which means the line that you actually want so that's the gradient of AB which means that the perpendicular line will be negative a third so that's all the information we need for the line so for part A then what's the equation of the perpendicular bisector so I'll just put that down perpendicular bisector is going to be y minus b is mx minus a, since there wasn't any sh way of shortening that. I didn't know where to cut the axis, the y-axis, and it wasn't either horizontal or vertical. So y minus the y-coordinate is the gradient, negative one-third, x minus the x-coordinate. Multiply everything by 3. 3y three minus 60 just leaves negative 1 times that, negative x plus 12. So in any form you like, x plus 3y equals 72, I think I'll put it down as keeping it all nice and positive there. So there's the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now part B says, the point D is the centre of the circle, because it's forming this radar, and it's equidistant from the axis. That must mean that it lies on the line y equals x. So it's this point 88. So that definitely lies on the line y equals x. If I call that equation 1, then D must be the intersection of y equals x and 1. So to get D, I'm simply going to substitute 1 into the other. So for D, I've got this. I've got y equals x, which means that, substituting it in, I've got x plus 3 times x equals 72. So 4x is 72. So x will be 72 divided by that. That'll be 1. That'll be 18. And of course, straight away, that means y also equals 18, because y equals x. So d is the point 18, 18. There, yeah, that wasn't too bad. And c, find the equation of this circle here that forms the limit of the radar sweep. Well, if you want the equation of a circle, I just need to know what's its centre. I've got it already, and what's its radius. Well, I've already got the centre. D was the point 1818. What I need now is the radius of that circle. Well, you get the radius by taking the distance from the centre to any point in the outside. So the radius would equal the distance AD. So you could work out the radius squared by working the length of AD. Now, AD is just going to be a case of using Pythagoras. How many along, how many up? You could even do that in your head. From 8 to 18 is 10 along, and from 8 to 18 up, so it's 10 up, so it must be 10, 10 for the two sides. And you should know that in a square, the ratio of the sides is 1, 1 root 2. So you know the answer is going to be 10 root 2. I'll set it all out. So how would you work out that distance from A to D? I'll put it down here. A to D. I've got the difference in X here, and I've got the difference in Y. So I've got the difference in X squared, and the difference in Y squared. And the difference in X is going to be 
18 take away 8, because it goes from 8 to D is 18, which is 10, so I'll be 10 squared plus, and same up the way, the difference in the Y, 18 take away 8, which is also 10, plus 10 squared, so R squared is going to be 100, 100, 200. In fact, just leave it as 200 because that's a deal for the formula. You don't actually need the radius itself. So, what's the equation of the circle? It'll be x minus a squared, y minus b squared is r squared. See, that's why I didn't need to bother with the square root. So it's going to be x minus 18 squared, and y minus 18 squared is 200 which would do if I wasn't going to use it any further, but I'm going to use it in other parts. I'll just multiply that lot out. So what's that going to be? It's going to be square the first, twice the product, so that'll be 36x, square the last, 3, 2, 4, plus square the first, y squared, twice the product, negative 36y, plus the same again, 3, 2, 4 equals 200. Ooh, let's begin to run in a wee bit there. So I've got x squared, plus y squared, to put the squared terms first, minus 36x, minus 36y, and then you've got 648, take away 200, plus 448 equals 0. So that's the equation of that part of it. Now will there be room for the next bit? I'll just clear this away. Because the last part says... An enemy ship sailing on a bearing of approximately 8 degrees, so it's almost heading north, just slightly east of north, it's sailing like this, and it's following this equation. 7x minus y is 72. Well, what's that? y equals, taking that over, 7x minus 72. So that says it's like, if you go 72 down, and follow a gradient of 7, so it's something like this. So the question is, if it was following this path here, is it going to go within the radar, the radar scope or not? Is it going to be outside it or is it going to be inside? Will it get picked up? It will get picked up if it managed to intersect that circle. Even if it just touched it, that would do. Well, that means I'll just have to try and find a point of intersection then. So I've got this equation for the circle. I've got this equation for the path of this other ship. And I need to find out if there is an intersection. So proceed as if you were about to find, if you were trying to find the intersection, which means I've got to substitute 2 in 1. Now this is going to get nasty. So we've got x squared plus y is 7x minus 72 squared minus 36x minus 36y, which is... 7x minus 72 plus 448 equals 0. And let's see what's going to happen here. We need to be calling in the assistance of a calculator here. I don't like some of these numbers. Well, 7 squared, that's but it's all right. That's 49x squared. Minus twice the product. So it'll be 2 times 7 times 72. That's 1008x plus 72 squared. 5184 minus 36x minus 36 times 7. Well, that'll just be 42, 4 over, so I'll be 252x. But plus that, well, that must be 72, that's half of 72 times 72, so that must be half of that. So that will be 2592 plus 4, oops, 48 equals 0. Now it's a case of adding this lot up. Oh, well, that bit's easy. 50x squared, be nice if all the rest were multiples of 10, or even multiples of 50. X's, I've got these three parts for the X's, 260, 296, so minus 1296x, plus 8224. I had to give in there and use the calculator. Oh, hey, what were the solutions to that? Unfortunately, they're even, but I guess it's worth the effort of dividing by 2 if I'm just going to be using my calculator because that's all that's going to divide into them. So I'll just work out the discriminant. b squared minus 4ac would be negative 1296 being the coefficient of the x term squared minus 4 times a the coefficient of which is 50 times c which is the constant on its own at the end. So simply a case of working out what that lot comes to. Calculator. When it comes to this, it comes to 
three, four, eight, one, six. Well, the only important thing is that's positive, so I can make a statement now. If the discriminant comes to that, then I know it's going to intersect that circle. I can just say b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, which means that the line intersects the circle in two places, which means that it passes within the radar sweep, which means it's inside the radar sweep. There it is.